Okay, so we're going to gram stain some bacillus and some micrococcus luteus. And what you're going to need is a flame, your organisms of course, a loop, a striker, remember the striker? At least with, if you do it just right, you can get a smoke ring. Ooh, that was a smoke ring. Let me see. Ooh, yeah, pretty good. Sometimes. Ooh, that was a cool one. Oh, man, I wish you could see these. That was a good one. Sometimes you can get them and they just go poop, and then you can put your finger through them. Okay. Um, and you need gram staining supplies. So we got a tray here with a little homemade rack that you're going to put your slide on, let things dry. And then here is crystal violet. Here is Graham's iodine. Here's some D stain solution. And here's the counter stain safranin. Okay? And the other thing you need is water oh, and, a, and a slide, of course. So here's your slide. That slide is really dirty. Man, that's filthy. Um, I guess this is what happens when, there's, when you're away from the premises for so long. Scared of a little tiny thing that's, you know, how many tenths of microns in diameter. Okay, anyway. Um, so what you got to do is put, you can put, let's say, two, maybe three colonies or bits of colony on one slide, and that's, that's, that should work just fine. But you need to put a little bit of water on here to make like a baby wet mount slide. So you can do it in many ways. Now we're talking about sterile technique and being careful, blah, blah, blah. Super important, especially when you have the lids open. For gram staining, the organism you put on from your colony is going to be outnumber so many other things than what you see is going to be what you put on the put on the, the slide. So to put a little blob of water on here, the reason I'm saying this is I take my little pinky and I run it under the sink, get a drip of water, and I put a couple dots there. Okay? That's that's what I do. So but don't panic and call the EPA or the whoever. Um, because uh, of, of being non-sterile. That's okay in this particular case. So the first thing I do maybe is take a slide and I sort of draw on the back of the slide um, kind of what, where I'm going to put things. I'll put M there for micrococcus. I'll put B here for bacillus. This will help us aid us in trying to find these little buggers because they're very small if you looked at bacteria. If you've only looked at bacteria in general bio, in, and that's almost useless. So um, it's really, it's, it's not as easy as it looks. So um, they're on the back side so that all these materials will not hopefully wash away that color. Better than a Sharpie is to use like a wax pen. I don't have one handy, so I'm using a Sharpie because a Sharpie will run when that acid alcohol hits it when we de-stain. So anyway, let's go over and put some water on here. I'll have a fortuitous drop of water right there. And put a little drop here. Boop. And another little drop. Let's get a little more water. Another little drop there. Notice they're very small drops of water. You don't need to um, you know completely turn this into a Niagara Falls or anything. So that's ready. So as usual with most microbiological things, you start with a flame. You flame your loop. And our first critter is micrococcus. So we grab some micrococcus, cool it, and grab from a single colony, not a mix. And again, very little. You don't need much. Again, I wish you could see that. It's very, very little yellow on the tip. And then you take your slide and you go over to where your micrococcus was and you just put them in there and you spread them out. Micrococcus is tenacious, the little bastard. And it's hard to um, get off your loop sometimes, but I can see it's kind of cloudy. And I think we'll be all right. Sterilize. And we'll get our PAL bacillus. Cool. I know I say colonies, so I'm being illegal here, but that's okay in this case. You don't want to put too much on because 
you'll end up getting weird results on your gram stain. Now this little guy is very sticky. He's hard to get off too. And I got that right there, if you can see, is too much. When we put this on this water, you're going to see it's turned real cloudy. And that's already too much. So I'm going to flame those guys. Cool this off a little bit. Spread this out. So the more you spread it out, the better, the quicker it'll dry. So the first step is to put your stuff down and let it dry. Now, you can let it dry on the surface of a, of a bench. Some people put it in an incubator. I light this flame and then I put it, I hold it over the flame at a distance that I can, I can still feel the heat right now. Where am I? There I am. I can still feel the heat, but I'm not burning myself. And all this does is the extra heat wafting up here from down there. Okay. Helps this water to drive off. So all you can do at this point is sort of let this go. A lot of you this quarter are going to be wearing um, gloves. And um, that's fine. I never wear gloves. Um, unless I'm doing something with RNA. Um, but in any event, um, just be careful if you do this technique, if you hold this up like this, because those gloves can get real warm and they can actually burn and melt onto you. So, so just be careful. So I'm, you know, I, I feel the heat. It's definitely warm, but I'm not burning myself. Notice uh, as it dries, let's see here. Can you see the little rings there of dryness in the micrococcus side? And then the bacillus is getting there. So that's kind of what you're going to see. That when they dry down, they kind of dry down in little rings. All right. So let me um, dry off the rest of this bacillus. OK, we're back. So one important thing to mention here is the little last drops are drying off. This took maybe two minutes to do this take too long less than that um, you've got your colonies you got your organisms on your little slide and that's just great the problem is if you start putting all these liquids on there they're just gonna slide right off okay they're gonna leave the slide so what you want to do is make them stick to the slide so you do something called heat fixing you got to do this you got to take your slide with the bacteria on it and you pass it through the flame now watch how I pass it through the flame That's heat fixing, okay? I'll turn around, not too hot. Turn around and I'll do the other side. All you're doing, remember these are microbacteria, these are tiny bacteria, right? Microscopic. You are basically uh, denaturing proteins and things and making it so those stick to the surface of the glass of the slide. There is no need to hold this slide under this flame for six hours and watch it bend and shatter. Literally pass it through. If you can put your finger through the flame, I don't recommend doing this. Don't tell your parents. Um, and you know, that's about how fast you do it. Any slower, you're gonna burn your finger off. That's how fast you put one of these through to heat fix.